All right, Coach, it's uh, week number two for you guys coming into uh, week number two against Flower Branch off a loss to Cass. I know I asked you earlier today kind of what you learned about your team in the first game. Going into this week, what are your expectations for your Well, program? yeah, I'm looking forward to a lot more team effort. I mean, I think uh, trying to adapt to play the first football game in over a year, uh, we um, obviously uh, uh, didn't perform as as well as we could, and uh, we just got to give efforts. I think our young guys were uh, looking to uh, try to execute, and they probably thought they were going full speed until they saw themselves on the video thinking mm, they were doing more thinking than they were reacting. All right, so Flowery Branch this week, a, a top 10 team in Class 4A rolling in here for you guys, another big opponent for you. What do you know about Flowery Branch? Well, I know. Uh, they do a great job. They're a strong year in, year out. Going to be a very physical football team. Uh, they do a tremendous job as far as execution on all phases. And uh, we really look forward to challenge to play them for many reasons. But one, it's going to make us better playing teams like that. All right, Coach, good luck this week. Thank you. All right, Kincaid, you guys going into week number two against a, a really good Flower Branch team. Uh, got a strong run game. You play a linebacker. What, is, what do you know about Flowery Branch, and uh, what are you expecting out of them? Well, we know they got nine starters on offense coming back. Offensive line is stout. They run hard. They're fast. They're physical. I know they got a good running back coming back, and I know we're going to have to run downhill and stay low with these big guys. Talk about last week against Cash. You guys uh, they played 23-7 of them and lost your first game. Well, what did you learn about uh, not only yourself but the team last week? As a team, we just – we. We couldn't come with our heads too big. We came in thinking we've been a part of the teams in the past, and we're our own team. Us coaches have been preaching to us all week. We have we have improved anything this year, so that's what we got to do this week: is prove that this is a new team, and we're just as fast and physical as the teams in the past. All right, man. Good luck this week. I appreciate it. Thank you. Talking with the senior offensive line, uh, offensive lineman Daniel Talk, uh, Daniel. Honestly, did you think we'd actually get here just a couple of days away from actually playing a game? Honestly, no. A couple of months ago, uh, if you were to ask me, I'd definitely say we weren't be here. We wouldn't be here, but yeah, I'm just glad we're here and get to play. What's the excitement like with the you know with the rest of you guys in the locker room and and you know, uh, I mean, big game coming up. St. Pius, pretty good program. So, but just to play, I mean, I'm sure you'd probably take the Packers, the Cowboys, anybody. Right. <laughs> What what what's the what's the mood like? Uh, I think everybody's just excited that we're playing, and everybody kind of took it for granted before coronavirus. So now that we kind of had that scare of not playing, everybody appreciates it a lot more. Have you noticed? Uh, you you mentioned that uh, have practices been a little more intense, a little more focused? What have you noticed? I've noticed a lot more intensity of practice because everybody knows we have not that much time to prepare for games, so we have to take every practice every practice for. Uh, last question. I know with seniors, I mean, we saw what happened with baseball last year with those guys. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I know nobody wants to have this wiped out. So, uh, what can anybody do uh, just to make sure we? I took a stop, strike that. I don't want to talk current about going to do that. Um, thinking other questions. Sorry about that. Um, I mean, it's okay you mentioned. It. I just don't want to ask you more questions about it. Um, <clears throat> all right, you ready? Last yeah. question. Uh, what's it going to mean this is your senior year? What's it going to mean to run out on that field, you know, for the first time this year and, you know, a, a, as a group? Uh, I think we're all super tight this year. And uh, it's going to be a lot different this year since everything we went through. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a special year. How good is this team? I think it's good. I think we're going to be really good this year. All right. Well, Danny, we appreciate your time. Good luck this week. Coach, coming off a, a, a pretty good performance against St. Pius, even though you lost. Uh, this week you get Dawson County and two totally different kind of offenses. How are you preparing for this week? We have to shift gears, you know, going from a solid triple option uh, slash wing tee approach in St. Pius to a no huddle, dual quarterback spread system in Dawson County. Uh, we have to be ready for up tempo and uh, be able to adjust to their quarterback personnel. They do a great job with their two quarterbacks. and and uh, mixing it up and keeping both guys on the field at the same time. So it, it's a different, uh, it's a change of pace to say the least. Well, it's interesting. The two programs have never met. Um, so, uh, you know, what, what have you been able to learn about them um, through the grapevine? Well, we played Dawson County the last few years in, in JV and in ninth grade ball. So 
we're somewhat familiar with the guys that we have on the field now. They've been there and done that two or three years now. And, and uh, But they're talented, very well coached. Coach Maxwell does an outstanding job, and, and uh, they're going to be physical, and uh, they know how to win. Is the, uh, is the key, you, you're kind of rebuilding that defense. Your offense played really well last week. What do you think is the key? Well, we're going to have to score points because I don't see us shutting them out. They're, they're very explosive offensively, and we're going to have to continue to grow. See, we have nine new starters on the defensive side of the ball, and you know, if they can't shift gears from a triple option to a spread approach, we're going to be in trouble. So we have to, we have to let the game come to us and, and grow throughout the game and, and uh, make adjustments as needed and uh, just play ball. All right. Well, Coach, I appreciate it. Thank you much. Thank you, Jim.